Hey guys, and welcome back to the Ecom Freedom YouTube channel. My name is Jeff Greenslade. I'm the head of Amazon here at Ecom Freedom. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about the life of an Amazon seller, some of the pros and cons that come along with A, running your own business, B, running your own business specifically in e-commerce, and C, obviously, specifically Amazon FBA for that matter. Obviously, there's a lot of good things that come with this business model, but there's also a couple drawbacks. In this video, I'm just gonna give it to you guys raw um, over my experience over the last four years of growing an e-commerce brand and being so heavily involved in this industry, you know, kind of taking a complete left turn of what I was supposed to do that was engineering and getting into this uh, this kind of business model. I guess the best thing to do here is to kind of start off uh, where I was. I was obviously a student going to university and I was just looking for some extra income to fund my, you know, extracurricular activities, whether was a trip with my friends or just going out on the town and uh, having some fun, having some extra money to throw around. And I didn't really wanna work a job concurrently with my university, right? Cause it was just a big time investment, very hard program. So I didn't have very much time. So anyway, I got into Amazon in about 2018 and um, that's when e-commerce was very turbulent and very new. Everybody was teaching these stupid tactics that Basically, you could just get products from China, send them to the United States, and then boom, you're a millionaire. Obviously, that is not the way that you do things, and it's not the way that things are going to be done in 2023 and beyond. It might have worked in 2014, but by the time it was 2018, those tactics were like far behind. I was like, okay, I need to come to the market with something with a competitive advantage. I obviously need to give the customer a reason to purchase my product over the competitor. Anyway, long story short, uh, I did that for my first few products, but the tweaks were not big, right? Like there was no patents, trademarks, any of that kind of stuff involved. And that came later is when I realized that, okay, I need a bigger moat. I need a bigger barrier to separate me from my competition. So that's when, you know, very complex logistics with suppliers got involved, actually got into the development phase of products as opposed to just smacking my label on a on a product and sending it overseas. Which by the way, guys, we are really stressing product research and development in the Ecom Freedom course now. It is not private label as it once was. We are going very much towards, you know, showing students the development phase of products, getting into different molds, really working with suppliers to make sure you're coming to the market with a competitive advantage, going over different tooling processes that are going to allow you to um, kind of introduce these products and concepts, right? Over the years of doing Amazon FBA and Shopify and just the whole compass of e-commerce, um, it, it's allowed me to do uh, several things. And one of the, one of the best things that has come from it is uh, the fact that kind of get now to help so many people through Econ Freedom and, and the Amazon FBA side of it. In the course, me and Andrew, we check your product before we even stamp it. And if you aren't giving us a reason to purchase your product over the competitor, then we're not going to give you our stamp to, you know, spend $10,000 on a thousand units of this to send over to the USA, right? It, it, it makes no sense. And this is through the product check, by the way, that we offer in the course. So that is one really big thing. Another big thing is obviously travel opens up. I'm a bit of a traveler, I guess, kind of hermity as well. I really like being in my own space and like kind of doing my own thing. Like I can wake up when I want, which is nice. Uh, the time you get back when you have your own business is crazy. I can work flat out for three days, you know, 10 hour days, and then, I don't know, take four days off, do whatever I want, right? That same logic applies across the board, right? It, it's, you just get your work done that you need to do, and then you have your free time. But th that's not to say there's, you know, a certain amount of hours you put in each week when it comes to e-commerce, right? Like, and, and building your own brand, right? Like, there's a lot that goes into it in regards to, okay, are you in maintenance mode or are you in building mode? If you're in building mode, you are in, uh, you know, product research and development. You are trying to expand your branding and marketing. You are trying to outreach to influencers to get your products in front of new faces. And there's just like so much across this like kind of web of online resources that you have at your fingertips when it comes to uh, growing your brand. So that is what I would call, you know, project mode, right? Like that is grind mode. 
Maintenance mode is just like checking in with suppliers, making sure you're stocked up, your shelves are full, making sure your account reservoirs are good in regards to inventory overflow at warehouses for, you know, shortages of inventory or um, excess inventory, right? Obviously the time that it freed up was amazing uh, for that regard. It gave me location independence. Uh, I moved out to the West Coast of Canada where I grew up on the East Coast, which I've absolutely loved it out here ever since. Super, super nice out here. Like I said, I'm a bit of a hermit. So if it's a really crappy day, it's, it's really nice to just kind of get up, make myself a coffee, maybe go downstairs to the coffee shop or chill on my computer and get my work done here and, you know, kind of go to the gym whenever I want, right? So that's like the biggest thing for me. However, there are cons to this industry. Um, the financial risk that you bear is crazy. Um, the, the stress from the financial risk is also very intense, especially at the beginning. As you get used to it, you get more used to, you know, the financial investments. Sending $50,000 or $100,000 to China seems less intimidating. And, and you know, like mistakes are always made. I have 6,000 units of a product sitting in a warehouse in Las Vegas right now, just because, you know, my inventory forecasting, I, I messed it up, right? Like, and it is what it is. It's forecast and you can never really tell how much of a product you're gonna sell. So those are some drawbacks. I mean, you know, you were working from home all the time. It gets a little lonelier than, you know, it would be if you were going into an office setting or, you know, on the day to day. However, most, a lot of people like that. You know, if you're raising kids or you have some pets, like you spend time with those pets, which is really nice. But I'm just going over like, you know, some of the pros and the cons. Just because there's all these pros doesn't mean it doesn't come with these cons. You know, there's there are some drawbacks when it comes to everything that I've mentioned. But yeah, the future looks really bright for e-commerce guys. I think we're still on the cusp of something here. Obviously, when it comes to 2023, we need to move on and get into product research and development as opposed to just product research all this white label private label uh stuff is gonna be in the past now and people are gonna have to get really really creative so if you guys like getting creative like me feel free to check out the free amazon starter pack that we have in the link of this video you can also check out the free amazon fba free trial that is in the link of this video and you know if you like the free trial guys come check us out in the course uh i'm one of the mentors there uh alongside andrew hoffman we give our best to help out the students in the course obviously one of the biggest assets is our product check service like i said there's no way i'm stamping somebody's product unless i can really see that it's going to do good on the market and you know you're giving me a reason that a customer will buy your product over the one that's on the market with a thousand reviews right and that's assuming it's in that domain right a lot of times we're going to work back from a customer avatar we're going to build a product around a customer if you like what you see here guys give us a like give us a thumbs up uh give us a subscribe really helps out the channel we're really trying to grow this puppy right now um so if you guys could do that that would be fantastic that guys have a fantastic day we will see you in the next video